Welcome to Transurfing TV. I am Renee Garcia and it is literally almost 100 degrees in this room right now, so I am burning up. I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can before I start melting in front of the camera. Today, one of our 78 days of practical Transurfing, day 71, we are in the home stretch. Polar comparisons. None of these I have read, so I am just as curious as y'all. And I will get into it. Remember my contest, my world's taking care of me. Like this video and comment below, and you might win some of these. And remember the 2.0 course, link is below. Check it out. You can at least just see what I'm offering, and it might be for you. So with that, let's get started. Day 71, polar comparisons. Constantly comparing yourself to others leads to an inferiority complex in the case that you undervalue your worth and a superiority complex if you overestimate your worth. Both are equally monstrous. Be aware that pendulums force you to compare yourself to other to certain standards because it is their advantage that everyone walk abreast in a single formation. Turn your non-normality into self-sufficiency. Claim the right not to be the same as everyone else. Smash the pendulum's rule. Be like me and do as I do. Always observe the transurfing rule instead. Give yourself permission to be you and allow others to be different. When you do fall out of the line, the pendulum will follow you as if you were the, the new normal. This is, this is pretty much my life, guys. <laughs> Vadim Zeeland's interpretation. Don't imagine that everyone else around you attributes as much significance to your shortcomings and strengths as you do. In reality, everyone is concerned with their own persona, so you can boldly shake this titanic burden from your shoulders. The artificial needs to be fabulous very often pushes people to copy others who have already achieved this title. That didn't really make sense. Mindlessly copying someone else's script will create nothing more than a parody. Everyone has their own script. All you have to do is choose your personal credo and then walk your talk. In any group, the leaders are always the ones who live true to their own credo. They become leaders because they have freed themselves from the responsibility of consulting others on the matter of how they should behave. <laughs> Leaders have no need to imitate anyone. They simply know their worth and know what to do. They don't try to curry favor and they don't have anything to prove. When you come to know your own worth, Everyone else around you will automatically do the same. So, wow, this is a huge lesson. And this is really where I would like to take this, um, this movement, right? You can be different. You can do something different. You don't have to adhere to the rules of the pendulum, which, like Vadim Zeeland says here, love you adhering and following suit of everyone else, especially when you're competing and you're striving and you're, you know, arguing and you're, you're fighting with your reality. They love all that energy. Energy. If you take back what you are currently giving to pendulums and you use it to facilitate your own pendulum, right, your own thing, you become a leader in whatever it is you're doing, if that's your calling, right, you can absolutely do this. And the cool thing is, after you have spent a certain amount of time being in this mode, right, just creating your own pendulum, doing your own thing, declaring yourself worthy of being a leader or being at the front of the line doing your own thing, however you want to look at it. 
All you have to do is do this consistently for a while, and then all of a sudden, the pendulums that were once trying to get you to adhere to them and give energy to them, they start helping you out. Pendulums love individuals. It is absolutely amazing. I never quite realized this until obviously I started doing this myself and then all of a sudden pendulums are like helping me out all over the place and I seem to be a favorite of pendulums. So this is a very interesting transition, right? You go from being pendulum food to the pendulums feeding you, and then you get to further your own thing, being your own truly, you know, individualistic self and create your own reality, getting energy and resources from the same pendulums that kept you down in the past. It's like a freaking miracle, y'all. It's so cool. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts. Are you pendulum food today? Are you adhering to standards? Are you one in the line? How can you get to the front of the line, start doing your own thing and start creating your own pendulum where other pendulums start automatically agreeing with you and giving you energy in return. Answer this below. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Remember, my world is taking care of me and like this, uh, like this video. And thank you so much for watching my video, everyone. Bye.